So ladies, we have two workouts going on today. Um, Keck and Coogan, you are gonna be together. Uh, Donahue, Keenan, and Sutherland are gonna be doing a separate workout. Um, Coogan and Keck, you're gonna start with um, four 800s. They're gonna be cutting down with four minutes rest in between. Um, each one of these is gonna be a progression, so every 200 is gonna get a little bit faster. Um, the first 800 is going to be around 236, the second in 228, the third in 220, and the fourth in 212. Um, so the way that we're going to break this down is the first 800 is going to go 42, 40, 38, 36. So squeezing down by two seconds each 200. Um, and we're going to progress from there. So the second one will start at 40, cutting down to 34, the third 38, cutting down to 32, and the fourth 36 cutting down to 30. Um, the second group is gonna be Donahue, Keenan, Sutherland. Um, you guys are gonna do two times 350 at mile pace with a pickup pop in the last 50. Um, two times 250 at 800 pace with, again, pick up the last 50, and then two times 150 at max speed. Um, so each of these are three minutes rest and then there's going to be six minutes rest um, between the 150s. How are you feeling? Um, all right. It's kind of a weird workout because you can never really get into a rhythm. So as soon as you run one lap, you immediately have to start squeezing the pace down even further. So it's a bit of a challenge in terms of hitting the right split every lap, but it feels pretty good so far. Um, awesome. What's so the most important part of this for you, this workout? Um, I think just learning the Stay relaxed at paces that are a little bit slower than like a true mile 800 pace because then it teaches your body in a race. Even when the pace is fast, stay relaxed and it gives you a place to go at the end. How do you guys feel so far? Pretty good. Good? <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what's the most important part of this for you guys? This workout. We're now the, the worst part? Most important, oh, I guess. Most important. Oh. 
probably just uh, accelerating the last 50. That's what we're working on, changing speed, even when we're going fast. Yeah, we got good workouts going right now. We got um, the 350, 250, 150 groups got the hard part done. Two, two 150s to go. We just, we just let them run on those. So um, they have a lot of rest. Six minutes rest. So luxurious rest. We got these guys coming through. I mean, this one is, from a concentration standpoint, um, a lot, a lot more challenging. So the, the real stuff's about to begin for them. So they, we'll find out. If they hit this one, they'll be, they're good to go. Yeah. going so far for these girls? Good. Yeah. It's a little difficult just with the pacing, um, but they feel fine. So. Here we go, boys. Here we go. That last 100. It was pretty good. It was definitely the hardest one, but just good practice squeezing down. It like mimics a race more. So yeah, no, it was definitely. <laughs> I was glad Katrina. We kind of split it so that she would set the pace of the first 400, and then I would take over, which I think worked out well because it's it's hard just to squeeze the pace down, but it's hard even harder to do it when you're leading the whole way. So. Yeah. I think mentally it made it easier that we switched in the middle of that one. Yeah, it's always good to have a training partner with your same capability too, right? Like, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite a good Oh my capability. god, yeah. <laughs> She was about to pass me on the last one. <laughs> um, no, no, but it was great. I mean, it's like in the indoor track, it's just it's kind of nice doing it like with one person sometimes. You can just like lock in with that person and not worry too much about traffic. Out, you know, going into NCAA between the conference meet and the NCAA meet. Um, again, it's more about you know how they look doing it. We want them to you know, have some um, pop in the step and um, you know be, be not straining to hit these paces. And yeah, we've, we've got athletes that are ready to compete at the highest level. You know, it's so hard to make this meet. Um, so we, we have athletes that this is their goal. Everything we do is to you know compete at this level. They're ready for that. They're not just happy to be there. They they want to go and race, um, and that's that's what we talk about all year long. Um, you know, we're gonna put athletes in finals and and be ready to compete. What was the toughest part of that workout for you guys? Um, I would say just making sure we were running the pace, not getting too excited too early, and then working hard the, the last 150. <laughs> yeah, I think the last 50 of the 200s, or the 250s, um, that felt kind of like the hardest part, just trying to shift gears off the 30 from the 200 was a little tough, but yeah. Okay, tell me one fun fact about each of you guys. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh shoot, one fun fact about myself, oh man. Fun fact, um, You look like Macklemore. <laughs> no way, that's all. Awesome. Uh, Katrina can't watch the last episode of Gilmore Girls without crying. <laughs> oh, fun fact, Emma likes peanut butter. Do yeah. what? Emma likes peanut I have butter. a peanut butter Oh, obsession. okay, no, 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 I have a fact. Emma is so obsessed with peanut butter that she keeps it at my house <laughs> so that she can only, she only has to come over in order to get her peanut butter. <laughs> She can't just eat it, she actually has to like walk like four or five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Keck has like a really, really serious relationship with her cat, Rebecca. Oh my. <laughs> she loves her cat. <laughs> and I'm friends with him on Facebook. Yeah, so. he has yeah. a Facebook. <laughs> What's the Facebook name? The name is uh, Minkus Pinkus. <laughs> I wasn't ready. It's alright, thank you. Good luck in Nashville. Alright, thank you.